My name is Bob Bianchi. I am honored to be the national president of the Order of Sons and Daughters of Italy and America, the largest and oldest Italian-American organization in the United States. I want to talk to you today about Columbus Day. We all know about the fictions that have been passed around about Columbus. And if you don't, you can go to osia.org and you can read all the information that is published by the Commission for Social Justice, which is the anti-discrimination and defamation arm of the Order of Sons and Daughters of Italy in America. But what concerns me more is the fact that we have gotten no respect and our voice has not been heard with the political establishment on a federal, state, or local level. And this is a bipartisan disrespect to the uh, Italians in this country. And it's gone on for too long. It's bad enough that we're a group that could be depicted as criminals and mob figures and buffoons in the media and nobody does anything about it. But now they take away the day that the president of the United States instituted and it was passed through Congress because of all of the discrimination that the Italians had suffered. And who did the president point to to show the greatness of the Italian American culture as was approved by the Congress of the United States? Christopher Columbus. Why Columbus? Well, we're judging him from four and 500 years ago, but they didn't do anything with respect to bad things, quote unquote, Columbus did or didn't do, whether they're true or not. They did it because of the greatness of what Columbus represented. And that is why Columbus Day has not only been adopted by Italian Americans, but by communities throughout the United States. Columbus, Ohio, Columbia University, Columbia Turnpike, right down the road where I'm at right now, the District of Columbia, all canceled because of false information. And we can't get anyone to listen to our message, to even as much as institute a committee to do a true fact finding with respect to the fallacies that are occurring with respect to Columbus. But Columbus was a lot more than just a historical figure. This was a person that the Italian American community rallied around. Going back to my own personal history of my own life and my family's life and my legacy, my great grandfather immigrated to the United States, spoke seven languages, Greek and Latin included, not one word of English, and wound up matriculating at the University of Maryland Medical School and became the first Italian American doctor in Newark, New Jersey. He and a number of other individuals scraped pennies and dimes together to build the Columbus statue in a park of which they were very proud. And my great grandfather's name was on that statue as one of the founding people. Where's that statue now? It's gone. No one knows where it is. Canceled. They're the ones who paid for it, yet the city took it away based upon all of these false premises. And because of political correctness and on both sides of the aisle, in both Democrat and Republican and independent places, people are just removing Columbus Day because it just feels like that's what they should do. But we know, I thought we were a country where we try to unify individuals, not divide them. There is no problem, and we have never had a problem, and we have stood up for discrimination of all sorts of groups in the Order of Sons and Daughters of Italy in America. We believe in inclusion. So if inclusion is what we're all about, then why are the Italian American community being canceled with respect to this Columbus issue? And why is it that Congress, and we've gone down and asked, because we have a national headquarters in Washington, D.C., won't as much as put an intern or two to do a fact-finding mission so that we can at least operate from a truthful set of facts with respect to this issue. They give us lip service, but they give us no action. So we are, and I commit as the national president, working with all Italian-American groups are going to make sure that our voice gets heard and our money gets put in a place where politicians will take notice of us. Every other ethnic group has notice taken of it. Why is it that the Italian American community is constantly spit on after all the great things that we have done for this country? We want to be heard. I want to especially thank here, um, give recognition to the Southern Colorado Lodge 2738 and the Colorado Italian American Foundation for their support of Columbus and his initiatives, as well as all the things that they are doing to make Columbus Day stay here, a reality. And my friend, Jerry Carleo, uh, thank you for inviting me to always be a participant in all of the great work that you're doing. I'm not just a person who's saying I'm proud to be uh, a supporter of Columbus. I was actually the Grand Marshal when I was the county prosecutor when we had our Columbus Day parade in East Hanover, New Jersey. I'm not sure how many more years of a parade we're gonna have left if we're not heard. So please, if you are not a member of the Order of Sons and Daughters of Italy in America, Go to our website at osia.org and join us. It's not just about Columbus. We raise tens of millions of dollars through the years 
for charities like Alzheimer's and autism and vans for, for veterans who are wounded in war and so many other causes, as well as the scholarships that we give out. Yes, once again, the Italian American community doing the right thing. So we ask that you join us, join our social media platforms, and please go on to YouTube and type in Order Sons and Daughters of Italy in America and hit that subscribe button because it's only by our ability to communicate with one another that we can put up the front we need to in order to get the respect we deserve. I wanna thank you very much for listening to my message and I hope you have a great Columbus Day.